met a gypsy. We started talking about Loretta's because you did it again at a that, <laughs> way back when. That's where we started. Um, and yeah. how was that experience for you? Because I'm going to be suiting up at World Vets this year. Obviously, it's a bit oh, nice. different for me going to World Vets as to you going to Loretta's. But as a, uh, a an unfit and underprepared person, um, it's it's become a bit of like a North Star for me a little <laughs> bit for the year, you know? So, like, was it kind of one of those deals for you where you were like, oh man, I'm going to do this and I'm going to train and I'm going to like take it for what it is. And what did it end up being what you wanted it to be? Yeah. And it, it kind of gets you into that mindset of being a racer again and yeah. doing a lot of the similar things. And, and you really, um, you know, you test yourself in a lot of ways and you, you know, to me, when I don't ride, I find that I'm really less structured. And even yeah. this last week that I got back on the bike again, it's like everything, I'm just busy and everything's structured. Obviously it's good for business for, you know, because a lot of my business is, is in the motorcycle industry. And, and it, it really helps keep me connected um, to riding and uh, the mindset of a, of a rider and a racer. And we've got World Supercross starting up here in a few months. And so to be, uh, to have my head in the place of being the racer as far as being an analyst it helps with that um but i just really enjoy it also and people ask me hey you're gonna ride mammoth this year you're gonna do this race or that race yeah. certain places i like and certain ones i don't i i love doing the race at you know you know at um you know at um uh, loretta's um i'm actually this year i'm gonna do the qualifiers back in texas so when i get done here i'm literally loading up and driving no 21 hours to texas yeah because my mechanic, BJ Burns, is back there. And it's like, I just want to get out of California. I want to go do do this somewhere else. Um, you know, just have a new experience. But but I love going down to uh, Loretta's Ranch for for the week. You know, it's, um, it's a long week. You're all excited. And then about halfway through, you're like, holy shit, I still got three more motos to go. Yeah. And then you start to see the light at the end of the tunnel. But I love the experience. What the Coombs family and their team, um, Tim Cotter and everyone involved, they really, it's just such a, it's like Mecca for motocross. It really is like a pilgrimage yeah. to get there. And even, so I raced there at age 50. So two, two summers ago, dude, it's like, not like the qualifying is super hard at this age, but you got to have your shit together. And then when yeah. you get there, I mean, the vet classes, we race shorter races, are only, I think, 15 minutes or something. But Dude, the track's like 30 gnarly, minute bro. So much gnarlier than what people think. It's not like it even used to be, let's say, I raced as a veteran in 2002, so I was two years out of my, out of my pro career. Yeah. And the track has changed since then even. Like, it's really difficult. And it's really challenging, but that's also part of the appeal is that it's challenging. Yeah. And... Um, you know, I love being down there with all the people, uh, all the fans. I mean, that's that's my group. I mean, I raced there in 1983. Yeah. And now I'm going to race there again, hopefully, in 2023. Dude, that's Dude, 40 years. That's 40 years. Dick, man. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's wild, man. I uh, I've never been. That's one race I've never been to, and I think uh, if all, if everything lines up, I'm gonna go this year just to like just drink some beers and just be a, a oh, yeah. complete super fan. Well, if I I'm gonna take it a little less serious. I was pretty serious last time. Yeah, because I I was I was nervous because the last time that I had raced it was uh, 2006. So I did 02, 03, and 06. So it's been a long time since I had been back there. And yeah, there's pressure, you know, you, you don't, you can't go out there without just having some eyes on you. And it's like, yeah. you know, people aren't lining the fences to watch the plus 50 race, but last year or last time we raced Brown, of course, is just a staple. I mean, he's as fast as he's ever been. Rhino was racing. Keith Johnson ended up winning the 50, like, you know, and there's a lot of like you you know there's certain races that people are kind of getting hyped for yeah and all of a sudden it's like they're out there and um you know so you you don't want to embarrass yourself so there's that it's it's i would love to compartmentalize it and just say yes i'm just going to go another do this race for me. Yeah. but that thing is there yeah and 
I feel like I do a pretty good job with expectations and even ego, like, hey, like, keep it all into perspective here, you know? Um, but it's still something that mentally you, you know, mentally you have to have to, to, to get through. But then the people there, the fans and stuff are so awesome. And, you know, yeah. you roll up on your golf cart to watch, uh, you know, maybe you want to watch the, 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 the younger women say, hey, there's some girl that's ripping, she's 12 years old and you're pulled up next to another people on a golf cart and the little kid sitting there and he's got a snow cone running all down him. And the parents are like, Holy shit! You're Jeff Emmy. Do what you, you, you know, you're like. Well, <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm. I'm here. I'm with you. This is, I'm a this is us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're down at the creek or whatever, and you know, in line uh, up on top of stagecoach to get an ice cream cone in the afternoon because it's hot, and you know, all these friends are there that now their kids are racing. You know, so yeah, I, I you know, I didn't. I don't know. I guess we'll see. If I'm there a few months from now, that'd be great. Um, when I did it at 50 and I did the documentary with Verb and all that. Which was really cool, by the way. Thanks. Thanks. I appreciate it. And it's like, it's like, well, are you going to do it again? And I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I guess we'll see. You know, and, and so you always wonder, like, well, when's the last one going to be? The last true. year, I had no interest at all in, in, in racing, you know? Um, and now this year, just you know, a month or so ago, it's like, yeah, hey, I think I, I think I want to do this again. Dude, so. it's cool, man. And like, you never know when the last time you're going to do yeah. anything is. And I think that if you can keep that in the forefront of your mind, just in day to day life, then you're going to yeah. live like a pretty, pretty dope life. You know, like at some point, it's like the last time you ever pick up your daughter. Like she's just going to be too big one day to just like pick up and carry yeah, her. Yeah, mine's around, 19. You know? Yeah. She's like, Dad, don't. Don't yeah, it's like, that. you know, it's the ship cool. sails on, on some stuff that if you go, like, you kind of wish you could go back and do, and Loretta's just has to be one of those things. Yeah, yeah. I think, though, uh, being being a father, um, I've, I've done a really good job of looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah. And I, I, I would, I'm kind of generalizing this, but I would say that most moms want yesterday. Yeah. And most dads want tomorrow. Like, like I remember when my daughter Presley was born, <clears throat> and the first time that, you know, they swaddle the baby up and you're holding her for the first time and walking her out to see the family members and taking her into the other room. It's like, I remember thinking, wow, I can't wait to see who you become. Like who, who yeah. are you going to be when you're an adult? Yeah. She's challenging that right now. Cause she's, she's, she's amazing and crazy and frustrating and beautiful all in one. And you're like, okay, well this is, this is who you are, you know? And she's super creative singer, guitarist, uh, acting all of that sort of stuff and it's really fulfilling then my son hell uh jagger he's probably an inch and a half two inches taller than me uh wow. wants to wants to follow soccer football as a as a path right now and just an amazing athlete and and uh you know there are times where it's super difficult and then there's other times where it's just really a blessing so we are excited to announce the launch of our new membership site, gypsytales.com, packed with exclusive content and perks that you won't find anywhere else. This is your chance to become a part of the Gypsy Gang. And as a special bonus, if you sign up to an annual membership, you'll be entered into the draw to win our custom-built TC125, Gypsy Gang.